Hi, I'm Katie from Legal Nodes, and this is the final video in our five part series on the legal basics of token issuance. A quick reminder, none of this information is legal advice. Now, most projects will use token SPVs to issue tokens for fundraising purposes. And the fundraising method will actually usually depend on the Web3 project's development stage. So for early stage projects, it can happen via something called uh, a SAFT, a simple agreement for future tokens, which is a conversion instrument that states that tokens will be issued to an investor in the future. Now, it can also happen with help of a token sale agreement, which is used when a project is already a bit more mature and it does additional emissions via a smart contract later on. So correctly developing a legal model for a Web3 project and choosing the right country for token issuance will help founders, that will help you to pass through due diligence processes much more smoothly whilst fundraising from Web3 VC funds. It will also assist with implementation of relevant compliance procedures to avoid violations of AML regulation or unwanted tax consequences. So therefore, when you're evaluating different jurisdictional options, it's really important to also consider jurisdictions where there are defined rules or as clearly defined rules as possible for things like taxation of token sale transactions. So places like Switzerland, Liechtenstein, the Cayman Islands and the British Virgin Islands might be good options to name a few. So let's quickly recap the legal aspects of token issuance. You need to figure out choosing the best country for uh, your token issuance as this is one of the most important early steps that you will take in order to prepare for a successful token launch. As we've already discussed in this series, it's also super important to consider things like what type of token is going to be issued. You also need to work out if you're going to prefer a country with FASP regimes and with more regulatory clarity with regards to token issuance. You need to figure out if tokens are going to be issued for fundraising purposes as it will influence what types of fundraising instruments like SAFTs or token sale agreements that you need to use and therefore what due diligence procedures and compliance uh, requirements like AML or KYC will need to be undertaken. All in all, this concludes our five part series. And if you have any further questions, please drop them down into the comments section. If you need any help with the legal side of your token issuance, head to legalnodes.com to find out more.